Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is a video series of JavaScript video tutorials. And I'm using Notepad++ to write the code of JavaScript. And this is a part one. Let's continue the class one. First thing, before continue the JavaScript on Notepad, as I told, I am using Notepad++ to write the code of JavaScript. But I don't have Notepad++ in my system. I need to install Notepad++. Type Notepad++ download for Windows 7 and Google search engine. The fourth one, download cnet.com. Click on it. Click download now, secure download. Click on it. See here. I'm installing Notepad++ 7.3.3. It's very small file, 2.8 MB only. Double click on it. Choose the language. I'm choosing English, okay. Welcome to Notepad++ version 7.33 setup. Click next. You must accept the agreement to install Notepad. I agree. By default, the destination folder will be program files under C drive. If you want, you can change also, but I'm clicking next. Next. Create shortcut on desktop. Install. Click finish to close setup. Finish. It just installed Notepad++. The file is opening now. This is the default page when I open first time. Why I use a Notepad++ means it supports many languages and easy to use. That's the reason I have chosen Notepad++. For JavaScript, you can use the normal Notepad also. Let's close the file. After I install the Notepad++, I opened a new file and saved as a lesson1.html. The code here is a simple HTML5 code. To write the JavaScript code, the basic syntax is script type is equals to script and in the type text slash javascript whatever we write the code of javascript they must be between the script tags javascript syntax is a set of rules based on these rules we can create javascript program each line of javascript code is separated by a semicolon javascript is a case sensitive now let's check a small demo how to print values on the browser through JavaScript. The first one is a document dot write JavaScript lesson one semicolon. Save it. When I refresh the browser, see we just printed the JavaScript lesson one. Document dot write is one of the way to print output on the browser. Now we'll check the second method using inner HTML. Is used to print values using by HTML elements. So HTML elements. H here H1 is the HTML element. Now create an ID for it. Is equals to. I'm giving sample. I'm giving ID name sample for this H1 tag. Now document dot get element by id what id we have to write we have to write the h1 tag id which is sample copy here and paste between the double quotes dot inner html is equals to my name is Jack 
save the file I'm refreshing the browser see here my name is Jack the inner HTML property is used to print values by using the HTML elements this is the second method we use JavaScript is a case sensitive suppose if I put here the I capital I capital save the file when I refresh see the my name is Jack is not printing here the reason we here we use the I capital which is a small i so make sure when you write the script of the JavaScript the spelling mistakes and as I said each statement in a JavaScript is separated by semicolon we can use the double quotes as well as single quotes to print the uh, here save it refresh the third one we can create the alert box so how we create a alert box in a JavaScript window dot alert hello save this file when I refresh see here the hello message okay now the next example we will check how to declare variables in a JavaScript let me delete this script code to define variables in a JavaScript we use a keyword where we are where give some name for that like for example I'm giving the first name is equals to the variables here the first name if you give like if you give the integer values in a variable the JavaScript treat as a integer data type if you use double quotes then the var become the string data type so for example here the first name I'm giving Jack Peter this Jack Peter I want to display in a h1 tag so what's the code we have to write there to print the values in a HTML elements we have to use inner HTML property for that document dot get element by id dot inner html is equals to first name here in the get element by id here the sample id of h1 paste here save the file refresh see jack peter here now I will I'm declaring the second variable last name is equals to Williams if I want to concat first name and last name I need to concat so I have to use plus last name save the file and refresh see here Jack Peter Williams here between first name and last name I need some little gap for that we use double quotes plus symbol use some gap here save the file refresh so Jack Peter Williams if you want to give variable EMP number is equal to integer values I'm giving you don't need to give any double quotes the integer values doesn't need any double quotes and this variable become the integer data type plus space emp number save the file refresh see so jack peter williams 1 to 3 the variables we have declared here these are the global variables there are other type of variables is a local variable which I will explain in a moment 
Now the next example we will check how to use functions in JavaScript. Let me delete these all. Here I am writing the function abc I'm using document dot write this is function and I save this file and I refresh see here the document dot write method is not printed in the browser because here in the script we just created the function but we never call this function abc now to call this function abc let me call on save the file refresh see this is function so whenever you create a function in javascript you need to call the function now in the next example we will declare variables in a function variable x is equals to some string one two three four five double quotes and here I am using x and here also I am using document dot write I am calling the variable x outside the function save the file see what will happen is it's printed one two three four five only this one but it's not printer for easy to understanding easy it's outside the function plus x inside the function plus x save the file refresh see so just printed inside the function but outside the function is not printed the reason here the variable we declared inside the function which is local variable if you want to print the outside also you need to declare globally the variable then only it will print see outside the function 1 2 3 4 5 now I want to display this outside the function a new line just queue here here you need to give the break use break break html tag save the file refresh so now here the outside the function is printed in the new line if you declare the variables outside the function you can access anywhere in the javascript but if you declare the same variable inside the function you can't access outside the function it will become the local variable now we'll see the examples how to create a multiple functions the function here I just copy and paste here this is x y z I'm calling x y z variable y is equals to I'm giving the name Sam Y. Save the file. Refresh. See now the printer document dot write inside the function. Now inside the function y sam as well as outside the function. Uh, let me give the gap here. Save the file, refresh, sum. Now the next example, we will call the function inside a function. Suppose here the function abc here. I am calling this abc function, copy this thing, delete here, abc. Save the file, refresh. 
So if you notice the output here, I have not called the ABC function here outside. I call this ABC function in the XYZ. So it's printed the X value, it's printed the Y value and X value. Suppose if I print the ABC again here, save the file, refresh. Say so here in the output XYZ we called first. In the XYZ we call the ABC function. That's the reason it's printed this this one. One, two, three, four. Then this document dot right, the SAM one. Again we call this ABC function. ABC function is this one, document dot right one, two, three, four, five. And the last one, the document dot right is outside the function one, two, three, four, five. This is how we call the functions inside a function in a JavaScript. Now the next topic is how to use comments in a JavaScript. Basically in a JavaScript there are two types of comments. One is a single line, another one is a multiple line. Why we use JavaScript comments? JavaScript comments can be used to explain JavaScript code and make it more readable. And these comments cannot be shown or executed on the browser. Let's check an example how to give the single line comments. Single line comments are double slash, double forward slashes. So notice here when I give the double slash, the document dot write a different color, which means this comment will not execute on the browser. Let's save this file and refresh my browser. See the ABC here I call, but still it's not showing here, even here also. Because I have given the single line comment here, which is does not appear on the browser. Now we'll check the multi line comments. How to copy this thing? Press, press, press. When I save this file, when I refresh, don't want to display these all document dot write on a browser. So this is the multiple line code for this forward slash give the asterisk again asterisk and forward slash if you want to comment that multiple lines in a javascript use forward slash and asterisk and ends with asterisk with forward slash whereas the single line comments are double quotes i save this file when i refresh it only display the document dot right outside the function. These two function does not display on the browser because I just commented the document dot right methods. Refresh. See here outside the function one two three four five. That's it in this part one video. In this video, I have showed the syntaxes of function, how to give variables and comments. It's a basic level. Part 2, we will check deeply how to use variables and functions properly with an example. If you like this video, please leave your valuable comment, share this video and please subscribe my channel. Catch you in the part 2 JavaScript tutorial.